So it's going to be all about King Charles III. Is it over or is it a new start? And I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. We're gonna see what's gonna happen with Charles. Is this the end? Is the monarchy done? Um, will he be the last king or maybe William? Or is um, is everything ready for a new start? Is, uh, is he like the pause in between something great happening with William? Um, so we'll just see what the cards say. We'll do a, a couple of uh, short draws and then a long uh, hand uh, to see What's going on with King Charles III? Is it over or is it a new start? Here we go. So, you know, we just don't know what the future holds, do we? But then that's why I'm here, right? So uh, we're gonna talk about uh, King Charles III. Is it over or is it time for a new start and is he the one that's going to put us in the right direction i mean looking at the way he handled his marriage i'm not hopeful um but the monarchy is stronger than all of that and uh, it may be that he's just the pause in between something great with william remember he is the product largely of princess diana she shaped his young mind she uh, helped to uh, form his um judgments and his uh, priorities and uh, so uh, even though he's been you know really soaking in this um old school monarchy for all these years since Be uh, diana's been gone and until he will eventually be king which could be another 10 or 15 years at the most i think um you know is he the fresh air that's going to come but that'll be later because right now we're going to see charles is it over for charles but before we do anything let's have just a moment you know of meditation King Charles III, he has coveted this job for so very long. I mean, I don't have any doubt that he always wanted the best for his mother, but uh, the sad fact is, of course, that the new king's ideas can't come into play until the old monarch is gone. Although, I kind of feel like towards the end with uh, Queen Elizabeth, um, that... Um, that there was a lot of judgment that was passed on for final, almost final decisions uh, to Charles in combination with William. I just feel that way. I could be wrong. Then I'm the one with the cards, right? So we're going to see. Is this the end? Is this the end? Is this the end for Charles? Is this the end for the monarchy? Uh, let's do three cards. End for Charles. One two, three. Okay, is this the end for Charles? Ah, King of Swords, truth, justice, rules, and law. This is a strong card. This is a big yes card, but I don't feel like it's a yes in, uh, you know what? I can't say that because I did ask the question, is this the end for Charles? And I have the king and I have truth, justice, rules, and law. I want to say it's a hopeful card, but I did ask the question, is it the end for Charles? And this is a yes card, but let's see what the other two cards have to say. It's interesting that this is a king of color here too, because that certainly is not Charles. Next card. Okay. Okay. This is interesting. So this is the eight of wands. You know, wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And uh, wands, this eight of wands is always a lot of things happening at the same time. There's a lot of things coming to in this case coming right to the center so we start out with this king of swords and a lot of action 
last card for is this the end for Charles Wow this is the magician card okay this is one of the very first of the major arcana one of the very first uh people that the fool meets on his journey uh on to uh number 21 which is the last of course card of the major arcana of the tarot and the magician is telling us he's got the magic he's got the uh, a handle on this to make anything happen so if i go back over this and say is this the end for charles well we showed charles here as a changed king actually uh, with that truth, justice, rules, and law. The king of swords, a changed king. Interesting. We saw show all these actions that have come in, are coming to happen at the same time, and they're diving into a sunburst of some sort of a conclusion. And then the final uh, card for that question is this magic that can happen. I do not think it's the end for Charles. I do not. I think somehow he's going to transcend all that history of his past and hand over something that can be used just by these cards. What do I know? So there's that. And then just to verify that, let's ask the other side of that question. Is this a new beginning for Charles? Is this a new beginning for Charles? Because that's what I uh, started with. I said, is this the end or is this the beginning? So, and this is all about uh, King Charles, nobody else, King Charles. Is this the beginning? Is this a new beginning? Three more cards. Okay, one, two, and three. Is this a new beginning for Charles? First card, look at that. It's the Queen of Swords. And uh, this is a queen of color, too. So it's interesting that we're still in the same suit. We had king of swords in the other spread, and we've got the queen of swords in this spread. Very interesting. I wonder if Camilla is redeeming herself. Next card up, oof, is the devil. It's funny that I mentioned Camilla, and then the next card I get is the devil. Um, you know, the devil is being chained to lesser intentions. And so when I'm asking if this is a new beginning uh, for Charles um, and I get the Queen of Swords and I get the Devil being chained to lesser intention, he certainly has been chained to Camilla. Last card is the Moon card, Secrets Being Revealed. Very interesting card. So is this a new beginning for Charles? I think it is. I think it just verifies that Camilla's big in the picture. He's been chained to all of those lesser, all those uh, human um, selfish um, uh, emotions and desires that's what has been his chain and the end of this new beginning because you really can't start something fresh and new until you get everything out in the open secrets being revealed yeah it's a new beginning for Charles it doesn't uh, intuitively you might look at these cards right off the bat and think oh these are terrible cards but they're just telling the story it's a sentence it's saying Yes, this is what's, uh, what he's been chained to. He's been chained to lesser intention. All the secrets are going to come out. That'll be wiped up and something clean, maybe a clean slate is going to be left for William to work with. So that's interesting. But I don't want to get too much into William because that's for a whole other, a whole other uh, video. So right now we're going to talk about Charles. It seems like he's going to be on the path to something useful. Okay. And uh, so we'll use that as a starting place for this draw. Six cards. We're going to see, and maybe more if it looks like uh, we got something good going on here. But six cards to say, so what is this new beginning? What is this uh, change? Uh, what can the cards tell us, really? So six cards for that. One, two, it's all about... King Charles III, four, five, six. King Charles III, it's all about you. So, what can the cards tell us about that? We're going to start out with the signifier card. So here we go. The signifier lovers. Of course it is. It's all about Charles and Camilla. Camilla, you know what? It is a fact that they have been the, the, the chosen ones for each other. All right, from the moment they met, it's always been about them. It's been something neither of them could get past. The lover's card is a signifier for this 
draw. Interesting. Let's see what the challenge to that that passion is. Well, it's the fool. <laughs> of course it is. Of course, the fool represents you know starting on a new journey, and you can see here that this fool is holding onto that uh, wand of actions. He's looking forward to the future. Uh, he looks a little clownish. Uh, well, he is a fool, and uh, and he's off into the future um, with abandon. So the challenge to these lovers is this new journey uh, that they're off on. Interesting. Doesn't mean they can't handle it. Uh, that's what a king is meant to do, handle the challenge. But what's the base of all of this? Ah, the sun. And just like the, um, the moon card, the sun is shining a light on all the issues that have to be dealt with. It's bringing everything out into the open. And it's the base of this whole reading. So flooding this with light. The past of this is the five of coins is being left out in the cold. And that's exactly where Charles had been for so very long. Exactly out in the cold, not being the one to make the decisions, maybe pulling some strings here and there. But the past of this is that he had been left out in the cold. But guess what? That's the past. In the sky of this reading, what you're going to aim for is judgment. All right. That's the idea. You want to leave this, this existence having judgment passed on you favorably. You want to make it into the pearly gates. You want to have that judgment that that is good and not um, uh, offensive. And interesting, I mentioned pearly gates, and we've got the gates right here kind of busted through and judgment. So the sky of this, I think perhaps what's really foremost in his mind is uh, judgment. How will his reign be judged? And then the final card, we're going to have to do four more, by the way, make this a full Celtic cross. But the final card for this, for Charles, and where is his head right now, is look at this. It's the two of coins finding a balance. That the coins are value. They can be money, but they're usually value of some sort. And you can see this clown just kind of, uh, <laughs> just kind of balancing those coins while he's on that tight wire. So it's not an easy act to pull off. But that's what the likely outcome of, of this is, is either finding the balance or being in the in the in the game of finding uh, that balance four more cards to make this a full cup to cross i don't feel like i need to shuffle them for just, a, for just maybe one shuffle so tell us about the situation with charles okay the very signifier of that question about charles's reign really is this ah the Six of Swords, and the Six of Swords is moving out of troubled water. You know, swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. And the Six of Swords is piling the folks that you care about into a craft and pushing it forward out of troubled water. But I have to tell you, this Six of Swords almost looks like it's trying to just bypass those dangerous, that dangerous truth, those dangerous rules, that dangerous justice, and, and that law. So the Six of Swords, the very signifier of this question, is navigating that path. What's the environment that that's in? The environment that that's in is in the Six of Cups. Very interesting, the Six of Cups. You know, the Six of Cups is just laden with promise uh, and emotion and, and trying to kind of get things back to the way they were in the past. That's what the Six of Cups really speaks to. It speaks to remembering how things were before in a more innocent time. Look at the toys down here on the bottom of this card. All the cups are represented here. And this uh, carefree uh, child is just enjoying remembering how things were in the past. So this very signifier of this question is whether he can do it, is that it's a, it's a perilous journey and we want to remember how things were in the past. The hopes and the fears for that. Uh, this position is going to be the Two of Cups lovers. Of course it is. Every uh, monarch, well, not every monarch, actually, but in modern times recently, the monarch has, has wanted to have that perfect pairing to help them navigate that job of being uh, the king or the queen. And it's interesting in this uh, Two of Cups, which are lovers, Two of Cups uh, represent lovers or pairings or perfect pairings. And this Two of Cups, which is a minor ar arcana, it's a pip card, it's not a major arcana, is uh, finding those two cups full of compassion sitting in front of a, a whole ocean of emotion. And uh, it's interesting that we find two uh, hands 
a hands of a different race here embraced uh, towards something better. So the hopes and the fears is that they can bring everyone together. And I think it represents also Charles and Camilla's love as well. As misguided, perhaps, as it may be. The final outcome for Charles, beginning or end, is temperance. Again, it's finding the balance. But this is the major arcana. And this being the final outcome for this tells me, and this being a major arcana, and cups are just full of emotion and compassion, is that in the end, temperance, balance, fairness, love, negotiating trouble comes to fruition. Great way for this to end. I'm so glad it was like this. So I'll read it all again for you. So we want to know Charles, beginning or end. Is it over or is this going to set the monarchy off in the right direction? And we have right here, we start with the lovers. This is clearly Charles and Camilla. He needed that support to make this, uh, to have the strength to make this happen. And it's challenged by what? The new journey that they're both on. The, the fools card is always signif significant of a brand new journey. The basis of the whole thing is the sun shining down and shining a light on everything that's been hidden, really. And in the past of this is having been left out in the cold with this five of coins, that's what this represents, having been left out in the cold, and then in the sky of this with judgment, is that's what you're aiming for. You're aging for the most pleasant judgment that you can end your life and your career with. And then the final outcome for this first part of this Celtic cross is the two of coins, which again is finding a balance. The very signifier of that question though, is this uh, six of swords, which is uh, negotiating troubled water. And what are they negotiating? The swords of truth, justice, rules, and law. Truth, justice, rules, and law. So the finding a way to negotiate past that. And it's in the environment of wanting things to be the way they were. And some people remember the way things were, not as actually they really were, but how maybe they wanted them to be. So remembering a better time. That's the environment that this is in. The hopes and the fear for this is still love. Love is what's going to bring, that's the hope that we bring everyone together and uh, the fear is that you don't do it. And then the final outcome for the whole thing is very hopeful because we end up with a great big offer of temperance. And it tells us that, yeah, it, there's going to be a balance met. Something's going to be passed on to William that he can work with. And it says to me that there's hope for the monarchy. Maybe that's the next uh, video. We'll see. I say it every time. I never could have guessed how the cards would have come out, but that's what we got. Let me know what you want me to read on, and I'll read on that. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Oh, say so. This is a Grand or Tarot Grand Lux. Tarot Grand Lux, another Cairo Marchetti uh, deck. This guy is just a machine putting out these cards, but they come in a great box, and uh, they've got a really useful uh, guidebook as far as the divination is concerned. It's easy to read and, you know, handheld and, you know, it's just another of uh, Cairo Marchetti's version of uh, tarot cards, which all seem to be pretty cool. Um, they're easy to use and they've got a nice kind of a matte finish that doesn't slide out of your hands too easily. And uh, so I do this so you get a chance to look at the cards and see how they are. Maybe you don't uh, buy a lot of cards or look at a lot of different cards, but if you watch my channel, you do. Haha. <laughs> so there we go. Good way to get to your energy all over the all over them, and um, and so I don't know. I think that kind of makes for a better uh, read uh, when everything's all said and done. So here we go. These uh, tarot grand lux. Some funny thing that I always want to say grand lux tarot, and um, I bet everybody does that. But anyway, we'll use these and get this going. Well. Coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again, so ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.